Before we get started, I just want to thank you for coming through, checking us out. Also, links below to all of our various social networking outlets. If you like the video, don't forget to like it, leave a comment, jump in, don't be shy, and always, please, make sure you subscribe for more. Enjoy the video. Peace. Good day, beautiful people. Just my brim. My name is Ramon. I am Tawan. Yep. We are back. It's been a while to touch just a you know a little bit you put your pinky in the, in the in the water not even your pinky toe just your pinky what are we drinking here <sighs> overly strong margarita very strong <laughs> very strong you, Jeff. margarita uh compliments to this man he's the Step resident uh, bartender game bartender I, I, that's something i was doing for a while I, I, I'm I really like I really got into a science. I know. Yeah, I mean, and you really you just follow once you know how to, you know, mix drinks. That's really the so all that matters. Then you gotta then I mean you have to mix them in a certain amount of time. Yeah, you know I'm saying people waiting for their drink. Yeah. My god sister, she's a, a she took bartending. So she's a mixologist. A mixologist, yes. Yeah, that's a that's a real thing in Brooklyn. Yeah, mixology. Yeah. Today's topic: the Windows house 10. favorite. Windows Ten. Windows are, Ten. This fanboy thing we have knows no bounds. But I mean, what, 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 you know. So we got three main things we're gonna talk here: Cortana, yeah. Project Spartan, and Action Center. So you know, there's there's more, but watch out for those videos. Hang on, I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, this guy. Oh, excuse me. This guy. Oh, somebody bring a a Mac into the room. Yeah, I'm allergic to that shit. Yeah. Everybody at that point says, uh, uh, "God bless you." <laughs> Going down the line <laughs> uh, on the comments. So Microsoft unveiled. Uh, I don't want to say unveil because we knew about Windows 10 with the first uh, developer preview. Right. But they showed us a lot more features surrounding the Windows 10. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the internal name for this, as per Mary Jo Foley, is uh, Technical Preview 2. Mm -hmm. Is what we're seeing here. How and, many technical previews are they doing? Uh, usually it's only one. But they, they really value feedback here. Yeah, they've been getting a lot of it. Yeah, so the, the numbers of people who are actually, um, I think it's over 200, 200,000 preview people signed up, or was it 2 million? Something like that. It was it's a, a lot. It is a lot. And they, they've been, when they when they break down the numbers, the, the amount of people they have uh, subscribed to the, the feedback they were getting, the pieces of feedback was actually pretty good. So people care. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. actually taking the time to, to try to make the product better. Right. So round two of the preview is here. Um, I like it. I I do. I do. I, I never had a problem with the first one. It was really, it it broke Vegas for me. Sony yeah. Vegas, which is what we used to edit, and I'll be not doing that anymore. <laughs> uh, I liked it. It 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 was it was very clear cut differences between uh, Windows Ten and the first preview. The first the preview. preview. Okay. Um, most notably, the start menu. The start menu, yeah. The start menu now, you cannot manually adjust it. You'd see the big or small. Right. So. And they've um, got that, it, it scales with the apps. Right. And it's got that uh, that full screen. Exactly, for the, when, when you're yeah. running just a tablet. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think, and hopefully, uh, oh, Lord, please allow the Microsoft people to be watching our, our show. Um, I feel like that panel on the start menu, once you go into, um, tablet mode, right? that start menu, that's just like always there. It does go away, doesn't it? No. Ah. No. It, they need to do something about that. I, yeah. would, I would hope that they would take yeah. care of that. But, so let me challenge you there. So 
currently the the panel you would call it where you can go in and list all programs or the my computer or mm-hmm. uh or apps. recently all apps or recently mm-hmm. uh, access apps or files how would you go about that where would you find that if it goes away and the the tablet or the pc is now in full screen mode well, it's in tablet mode. Yeah. So that's, let's just say, argument sake, it's there. Mm-hmm. Swipe up. I mean, that's what you did. That's what we do now, yeah. Right. But see, the problem with swiping up is, I guarantee, right, you take someone who, who's not on this channel, yeah. who doesn't know what we do, and who doesn't subscribe to anyone on YouTube and get on YouTube and watch videos. If we watch them use Windows 8, right. I guarantee you they don't know that all programs are underneath if you swipe up. Yeah. It, it, it took me uh, like a, a little while to kind of grasp yeah. that. Like, okay, where are all my apps? Where are all, yeah. all my apps? Because all oh. you see is tiles. Right. You get the tiles. And, and the, the, the ideology there is you make or you pin what is important to you and mm-hmm. you have it represented as a tile. Right. For everything else, get it out the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, just get it out the way. You want it to swipe up. But some people we're complaining there's too much digging we don't know where this is right. so now they put it on the side so, so it's, it's one of those things where damned if you do damned if you don't right and it's like now it's like for, for the idiots it's right there in front of you all the time yeah. so I but guess, we should have an option I, I think that it, I mean at least let it swipe out and then like it could be an arrow there all that something something telling you hey listen yeah. if you want to pin to the start menu you got apps on this on this corner here you might want to just take a little gander, yeah. you know. So, I I find you know. it refreshing though. With that that minor nuance aside, I find it refreshing to see mm-hmm. how it can scale from a desktop to a full screen. Yeah. Because I, I'm, I'm keeping the that. surface the surface. You were, mm-hmm. and I'm keeping the surface type uh, person. And there's a crap load of those two on ones. You have one here. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping that in mind. How do you transition? How do you make it? So it's useful in desktop mode and it's useful in tablet mode. Mm-hmm. I think this is a, it could use some tweaking. Yes, we just went through that. But right, I think right. it's a good medium ground where, uh, you know, you still you still get that effectiveness of tiles because, God damn it, man, people who don't use tiles do not understand how important they are. They, and they, once you get it, it's like it. it's like people that don't understand it just it, it, the memo went, it was like yeah. and they totally yeah. didn't get it. They don't it's, get it. It's just like, dude, it, like how do you appreciate apps and the cluster of apps yeah. that is on iOS and the cluster of apps that is on Android, with the exception Android obviously they got have the, widgets. Yeah, and that's still but, a yeah, suspect. And, and then you have to go elsewhere to get to the widgets. So, <laughs> <laughs> listen, I can go on all day. I got all night. But you can't appreciate a tile that's giving you information eat right real time. As it happens. As it happens. You can't appreciate that? I, uh, hey, um... Uh, I don't know. What's the weather? Oh, shoot. The weather's on the tile. I didn't even have to open it. You know, it's it's surprisingly handy. Remember when Mango, Mango shipped? That's when it really, because everything flipping and flopping all over. Yes. Yes. It, it's really handy. Like, I, I mean, an Xbox message for me, and that's, that's another video we're going to do on how, you know, Xbox Live is coming into a social networking thing. Yeah. It, it's like, I have this own interaction with, the ignorant gamer side of things. Mm-hmm. People will message me on on the Xbox or Xbox Live, and mm-hmm. I, I see the message come through on my phone. But before I swipe down Action Center, I'm looking at now that I've taken the time to unlock my phone. Right. I'm looking at everything. So I see the text messages who come in. Right. I got you guys. I got you guys. My girl, all in the group. So I'm seeing who texts me from there. That's I'm seeing the message in the Xbox Live. Can I press pause? Emails. One moment. One moment. One moment. I am trying so hard to get my Windows phone back because I'm I'm not loopy right now. I'm totally out of the loop. So basically, like I went to AT and T the other day and I was like trying. So I owe them for the next like hundred and twenty dollars. I'm about pay to pay off. that off right pay now. Off. Yeah. But oh, but the fifteen twenty um, is not in stock anymore. It's discontinued. Oh. 
Yeah, you know, my camera screwed up. Remember what was happening to your camera? Oh no! You it fell it? out. Yeah, it fell at work the other day. Yeah. So that's... the the motor, mm -hmm. the the autofocus motor is off. So I went on Amazon to order one for twenty dollars. The motor, the the whole camera replacement. Get out of here. Yeah. So all... how you gonna get that in? It comes with the tools, but I ordered the iFixit tools. Mm. It's like a set. Uh, they're a dope company. They they sell like for seventy dollars or eighty dollars. Dude, you get every tool imaginable. Like you can fix iPhones. And so I ordered that kit. Dude, watch the video before you touch your phones. <laughs> yeah, I did my girl's ten twenty. Oh really? Yeah, she cracked the screen. I replaced the screen. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's not bad. Send me your phones. I'll fix them for free. And then charge you after. Well, listen. This glass. I don't. I don't want to break that. I don't know what this. The problem is with this glass, but this glass is is it has this plastic film. This plastic, yeah. dude. I told you guys that I would bring. You gonna? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it. And you guys are gonna see it. <laughs> the after effect of the dude trying to fix my phone. Oh man, it's a it's a it's a mess. But um, all right. Action Center. Action Center. Oh, uh, I, I say leave, leave Cortana. No, we can do leave Action Cortana. Center. Leave. leave Cortana. You're not a fan of the Action Center. No. Or how it's... I. No, I am. No, I wasn't a fan of the way the start menu was kind of laid out. But okay. That's, that's minor. Okay. The Action Center, I was actually a bit more pleased with as opposed to the, uh, the Charms. And I understand what the charms is all about. Right. I understand you had to share and I had to, you know, I understand that. I just feel like the Action Center now places functions of Windows 10 right there in plain sight. People have a problem with things being in plain, in plain sight then uh, to have them tucked away. Listen, you got to get to this. Because you don't know that. how to get to it. Exactly. So, and... and uh, yeah, I no, I, I think, and even coming off the podcast, is we did a fair bit of discovery in that podcast mm -hmm. between the four of us, right? Right. Um, I, I think ideally a hybrid between the Action Center and the Charms mm -hmm. would be best. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Action Center, and that, the Action Center found its name in Windows Phone. Mm -hmm. So the Action Center is what we would call, uh, what you would call the Android curtain. fans, the curtain, mm -hmm. and iOS fans, the stolen curtain, because we know where they stole it from. <laughs> uh, Microsoft calls the Action Center. So on Windows Phone, you pull down from the top, mm -hmm. it captures all your notifications. You've got shortcuts to things like um, screen brightness, right. airplane mode, project, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. That exact same functionality makes it to Windows, Windows right. 10 on the desktop and laptop. Hmm. Now, what I what I find amusing is how when people refer to this, uh, you know, the media in general, when they refer to this, they go, oh, look, they have a notification center just like Apple did in Mac OS. No. Yeah, except Microsoft's been working hard at merging the two. So the effort's been going on long before Apple decided that they want to, they want to, uh, you know, dig in a dictionary for words like continuity. Yeah. Like, right. Go fuck yourself. It just isn't, it was coming, it's there, you know, let's get over it. It's pretty dope. So, again, you get captured from all your notifications. And Windows 8 had the same exact problems Windows Phone did. You had your tiles, yes. Mm -hmm. But a notification came across. Good luck finding out what that was. Yeah. You know, unless that thing is yeah. pinned to your start menu... You don't know what just notified you. That that was definitely uh, like, oh God, like, okay, I know that I know what I have to ping me via notification. Right. But I didn't know what. It, let's say my tablet or my phone or whatever it was, my my desktop was over there and I'm not looking at it. Well, I just heard it go off. Yeah. Unless it's Facebook, because Facebook, you know the sound. Well, everything made the same damn sound. <laughs> so I'm like, what was that? Yeah, you don't know. And, and, now, and now I have to go. I have to search and find. <laughs> so I'm, I'm pleasantly pleased to see. It was a little annoying. Yeah. But now now we got, uh, you know, we got the Action Center. 
Mm-hmm. And now we do know what's going on. And two, they even went a bit further and put those shortcuts in too. Mm-hmm. So you got the shortcuts to, you know, your brightness, your volume, so on and so it's forth. All settings. And there's a bunch of them that they can do. Yeah, yeah. So, so action set, I think, is a it's a very it's a no brainer uh, piece of functionality. Yes. Uh, and, and you know, looking back on it, you guys know I defended Windows 8 to the death. Mm-hmm. Now looking looking back on it in retrospect, the work that they're doing to to a Windows 10, it's almost the same realization we had with Windows 7, right? When right. Windows 8 or 8.1 hit on the phones. Right. Is it 8? What are we up to? Windows we're Windows on, Phone 8 still. Yeah, we're on 8.1 now. So when, when we got like the Action Center and Cortana all of that on the Windows phone, you kind of look back and go like, shit, what did I have before? Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Windows 7 was bare bones. Oh, 7 was bare bones. Like, but you well, know, I'll was, never admit that in an argument. Yeah, but I'll tell you, it's big. It, 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 but it was still a breath of fresh air compared to everything else that oh, was yeah. out there. And oh, then Android Windows Eclair. Mobile. Yeah, fuck out. What of is here. what is that? <laughs> Can so, we give Eclair the fuck out of here award? Is it? Uh, it's is not. It too, it's not new. Now, it's not new. So I can't give it to. So escape. Listen, there is yeah. escape. They there is a, a, a <laughs> FOH award coming. Um, coming we, it, it'll be with you shortly mike yeah so hopefully this video you get to see this video before i give the foa <laughs> award because when you see it you'll understand why all right uh cortana cortana superstar she is oh man uh I listen superstar i i i loved her since windows phone 8.1 when we got the update cortana was there um also, I to see it back on Halo. Oh yeah, Combat Halo One. That's my bitch. Halo One. Yeah. So, I, it, listen, I, 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 I know what to expect. Cortana, it, it, it's seamless. It, no, there isn't much difference between Cortana on ten. Uh, desktop, no, same so experience. So it's the same, exactly. Which is what I'm. This is the theme of Windows Ten. Wherever they're pulling these features from, mm-hmm. be it Windows 8 or Windows Phone 8, mm-hmm. the experience is the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The same quality. Like nothing, we're not losing anything here, we're just gaining. I love that. Carry on, sir. So, you know, <clears throat> I we've talked about Cortana. We did a video on Cortana. There are videos out there on Cortana. So I, I don't want to make this any lengthier than we are. Right. So, I'm just going to say, look, thank you for bringing Cortana, first of all, to be the first, in a way, in digital a way, assistant. the first digital assistant on my desktop to function you like... Don't, you don't respect Clippy? What? You don't remember Clippy? Windows 98. Oh, the the, the, the paper clip. The little paper clip, god yeah, damn it. Yeah, but That you man know, has earned his space in history. Yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what he, a fucking clip, you baby. We didn't see him in uh in Vista. He, no, he, he was died. done away with. He was he died gone. with XP. Him and Microsoft Bob or whatever the fuck, he was yeah. gone. He died with XP and rest in peace, rest Clippy. In peace, Clippy, man. You know, if you remember Clippy, just hit us up right down there. Hit and the like button. For hit Clippy. the like button too. Hit the like button. For but Clippy. um, look, Cortana. Cortana works. I, you know, yeah. you know what the features are. You got it. You played with it. You've touched her. You've caressed her. You've molested her. Cortana is where it's at. Hey, I think uh, one of the things Bell Fury lightly touched on stage was they were using. They started to use Cortana as this um, this other layer of multitasking. Yeah. Where he was doing something and he said, "Hey, Cortana, send an email to Tawan." Subject, yo, such and such and such, boom, send. Yeah. Without interrupting what he was actually doing. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's dope. He, uh, Cortana, remind me to do such and such when I when I pass Best Buy. Because now she makes note of that on the desktop, which transfers over to the phone. And when I geofence and when I drive past Best Buy, it says, yo, psh, turn around, son. It's right there. You got to go return that Apple product you bought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, so I, I really like that. It just, I don't think Cortana actually makes a sound when you come by it, you know, what have you. What? It's just like, it, it, it. No, hopefully they'll fix that. Yeah. It does like a notification sound, but it's easy to miss it. Right, right, it's right. It's easy, right. Like, like Edgar said on the podcast, he, he wanted to be able to say, okay, 
send me a, a notification email or send me a phone call or you know something or text more intrusive right, right. that'll say hey no no pay attention mm -hmm. because it's easy to miss um reminder notifications yep, yep. so unless i change it to something more intrusive which yeah. i'm not no um so and then project spartan oh you, you got more on cortana ah no i think i think we've really much pretty much covered okay. cortana i mean she, it is what it is and she does what she's supposed to do you know as she's she saving it, the universe out here yeah, better than siri siri, to, siri don't got no video game yep not at all um project spartan project spartan this was the last big piece of that for the desktop um microsoft is really gonna have to show and prove uh with ie oh well i'm sorry project spartan <laughs> but, yeah. don't you dare and you know what i did i i, I did that by accident but it was kind of like on purpose because ie was such a disappointment um since you know, I'm, I want to say Windows. I want to say 8.1. It didn't start bugging out until they started doing things with the processor that it feeds off the, the GPU. Of the GPU. But I, you know what? You, you have a very valid point. And that was, you had an older computer that technically spec for spec was able to run Windows 8. But your you didn't have a GPU and ie was hard coded to use a graphics accelerator oh my god and when you get a machine like if you on your vio you use yeah. ie i yeah and there's it's, no it's problems no either the ta the the tile version or the right it's no problems right and that, that's a real that scenario is real to some people and then you know what what do you end up oh ie sucks okay your experience wasn't that that good I, yeah, it was what it was you know right so I mean, you know, they they show what they show with, uh, you know, with their announcements. Yeah. And um, I show and prove. Show and prove. I I need to I need to use it's it. It's IE. And it's, yeah, it's still it's, IE. It's rebranded. It's still the Trident Cola or whatever. They, but they trimmed. It, I saw something like they said they they trimmed thirty percent of it, so it's a lot leaner now. Which may be more lean than Chrome because Chrome is out of control now. Yes, it is. There's no reason on my video editing rig, Chrome should be accounted for like 40% of my resources. What the fuck? But yeah. That's yeah. because you go, Chrome allows for apps. I don't know. It allows for both it, apps. It's got both. background. It's got the, the, All types the Google of Now shit going on. crap on it. And, you know. Die, Google, die. Yeah. But anyway, I think the Windows 10 is a very strong showing. Uh, and this is still the preview. Yep. Uh, feedback can still affect this product. You, you know, make sure you're commenting. Don't go download it and don't say a word. Yeah, I've, I've, those I've, forms. I've said a few. Yo, do you know, and we're going to stop here. Do you know that when I was running 10 on my Ultrabook, they sent me a notification to, to give feedback. They wanted to know why... I was using a tablet that came with a stylus pen, right. digitizer, pen, whatever, uh, but I wasn't using it. Yeah. So I politely replied because my battery died in my stylus <laughs> and, and CVS is the only place that I could get a quadruple A yeah. battery. People had concerns about that because Microsoft is watching. Uh, they are you, watching. The ground level would be key login, mm. they, but that's part of opting into a preview yeah. because they want to know these things. They want to know where you click that caused an app to crash. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So It's funny. Yeah. They, and now they know that my key, product key is... Uh, you got a well, situation. You know, lituation. Lituation. Windows 10, man. Let us know. Call at us. Hit the comments. Let us know what you think. About those two. Cause I know a lot of you guys tried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of you guys tried it. I'm about to. I'm about to. RT. Windows 10 RT. Forget can, about it. Can we do something? Can we There's do no something? Windows 10 RT. There's some features that are making it to RT. But that's it for RT, baby. What the, what the fuck? I don't know. I, I, I defended RT and now it's yeah, cause got it's, me out here looking crazy. It's your initials, sir. It is my initials. Yes, it is. Yo, we are out of here, man. Peace. Peace.